Hello, I'm Howard Marks. Usually, this video series is used to introduce a new memo, but this time we thought it would be a good idea to devote this video to one of the trending points mentioned in the recent memo titled, This Time It's Different. Nowadays, both political parties seem to feel that the way to win elections is to depart from deficit prevention, either increasing spending or granting tax cuts or both. Part of the reason could be a new school of thought that's gaining lots of attention, modern monetary theory, or MMT. I have a recollection of a heated debate when I was young over whether it's okay for nations to permanently be in debt. More recently, any doubt along those lines has been forgotten, and almost all nations are debtors. The main issue became whether there's a level of debt that's too high, but now, thanks to MMT, there's a belief that there's no such thing as too much. MMT is modern in that it has moved past the old-fashioned concept of balancing spending and revenues. Thus, it opens the door for bigger deficits. According to Stephanie Kelton, an economist and modern monetary theory specialist, the national debt is nothing more than a historical record of all the dollars that were spent into the economy and not taxed back and are currently being saved in the form of treasuries. In other words, national debt is just a sign of all the government has accomplished. Whatever reasons you may argue that this time it's going to be different, it's my view that MMT is just that, a theory. And at a minimum, it doesn't allow for unforeseen developments. I believe here, as elsewhere, the workings of economics are too uncertain for a perpetual motion machine like this to be relied upon. And as the New York Times noted, when the University of Chicago's Booth School of Business asked top scholars about a couple of its claims, they were split between the 28% who disagreed with MMT and the 72% who strongly disagreed with it. Can they all be wrong? While I can't prove that modern monetary theory is off the beam, I also can't see making it the economic law of the land. Thanks for watching this special post-release memo video. I enjoyed switching things up a little as to timing, and if you haven't had an opportunity to read the memo, I encourage you to do so. MMT underlies two of the nine points I highlight as causing many optimists to believe this time it has to be different. I'm Howard Marks.